So what's happening is that, yeah, we had uh, some failure with the engine and the mechanic is here fixing it now, but he's afraid the propeller will slide out and just sink. Looking back on the Orca expedition, it's hard to believe how much we achieved. Adventure, harsh weather, challenging conditions, and we made it back to tell the tale. What made this expedition special was the way we traveled. We sailed over 1,200 nautical miles, making it a true maritime adventure. But just when we thought we had it all under control, disaster struck. After just two days of sailing, the propeller shaft broke. Luckily, we managed to get to a small fishery port in the coastal village called Rowan. Oh, well, uh, we had some problems with the shaft on the uh, propeller. And now we have ordered new parts. It was a punch in the gut to learn that we were stranded in Rowan for three days, waiting for the mechanic and parts to arrive. Three precious days lost that we could have spent capturing majestic orcas and humpbacks on film. It's all part of the adventure. The unpredictable, the unexpected, but we had to stay focused and keep our hopes up, even when faced with setbacks. We use the time to try out some new equipment. Oh, wow. It's really frustrating when you know that you're when the orcas are up in Tromsø and you're stuck here and you also have people waiting for you soon up there and we have two more days to sail uh, so yeah uh, we can't do more than just wait for the parts to come I really, really hope that they fix it today so we can leave this place uh, and head to Tromsø. Now I'm gonna sleep, I'm tired. Uh, and yeah, that's the little update. Over that. After three long days of waiting, the mechanic finally arrived on the third day. But before he could start working his magic, he had a request. When the chains are buried of the, to the propeller, I'm afraid that the propeller can slide out. So I will try to go down and secure it. Um, I don't know if I can, but I'm about to try it. No. 
bodaj ze schowaną, tu mu ten dok poń, bo co ja nie trochę od sobie, tak. With the propeller secured, the mechanic set to work and he was like a mad scientist tinkering with his creation. Panic worked his magic and fixed the problem faster than we thought. We were relieved to be back on track and ready to continue our journey. The next morning it was time for one more punch. So hopefully this is the last thing we're doing now before we leave this place. Uh, we secured the propeller yesterday and now we have to detach it. Removing the rope was a simple task, but it felt like a victory after all our setbacks. <laughs> we were eager to set sail and leave Rowan behind. Our sights set on the true ocean giants, with the obstacles behind us and our spirits high, nothing could stop us now. It took us about 24 hours to sail from Rowan and we arrived at the Arctic Circle as the sun climbed over the mountains. We were happy to be here and decided to stop to take it all in and celebrate. We stayed for a while but knew the rest of the team was waiting for us. We were determined to make up for lost time and reach our main goal as fast as possible. Thank you for watching. If you liked this, then watch the next episode and let me know if you think it was all worth it. Please subscribe to my channel, turn on the notification and hit that like button, that would mean so much to me. Hope to see you next week, bye!